Welcome to my channel. My whole goal here is to help you feel and look your best and to build a wardrobe that supports your actual life and gets you through your day, your week, your month in style and with confidence. So that sounds like something you're interested in. Um, my primary audience is women over 40 and we really talk about all things style, um, wardrobe building, flattery, beauty, all of those things on this channel. If that sounds like something you're interested in, stick around, hit the subscribe button. Would love to have you back. Okay, so today I'm really excited because I get to talk about dressing up. We get to talk about dressing up. Now, I know that in our normal everyday lives, most of us are either working from home or we're hanging out at home or we're working in a workplace that maybe has become progressively more casual. And I, I get that that's the reality for most of us. But then there are those opportunities in life that come along every now and then where we get to dress up. We get to celebrate being a woman. We get to celebrate our femininity and look and feel our most beautiful and fabulous best. And I feel like we should lean into those opportunities when we get them. We They are few and far between, but spring is the season, right? Spring is the season for all the celebrations. We just had Easter, but we've got weddings and graduations and parties and all different things coming up in spring where we can really lean into um, the glamour and the fun and the fantasy of fashion. So often we talk about essentials and basics and t-shirts and jeans and all the everyday workhorse pieces and we neglect the pieces, the opportunities in life where we get to be the queen, where we get to dress up, where we get to celebrate and look and feel fabulous. Every woman deserves a couple of those occasions at least every year where you can put on your prettiest dress and a beautiful pair of shoes and sparkly earrings and head out the door looking and feeling your best. And I'm here to help you get there because I think it's it's an art. There's an art to dressing for special events, especially over 50 or over 40. So let me back up first by going where I always go and talking about sort of what not to do. Um, first, before I go there, I want to to share my mantra that I, if, if you take nothing away from this video but this, I want you to write this down somewhere. Buy it when you find it, not when you need it. The worst time, the worst time to be looking for a special occasion dress is right when that special occasion comes up. Then you're going to be overspending. You're probably going to find something you don't love as much, but you have to buy it because you don't have a choice. And then you are you may even end up wearing the same dress as someone else at an event, which is not deadly, but maybe not your preference. So don't wait until the special event is looming to go to stores and scramble to buy a dress. I never, almost ever, shop for events. I don't shop for events. I shop my wardrobe for events, and I would encourage you to do the same. If you build your wardrobe and you have those go-to pieces in your wardrobe, you don't need to scramble and run to a store when an event pops up. You can, you've already got it covered. And so let's talk about how that looks and what that looks like and, and what you need in your wardrobe to be ready for anything um, when you're dressing up for spring, for summer, year round, um, over 50. Okay, first thing I wanna talk about is shoes, 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 shoes. Shoes. Shoes are my love language. Shoes are my, some, some women are bag women or whatever. I, I, I'm a shoe girl. I'm a shoe girl. And I'm very excited today to be working with seven or nine shoes. Oh my goodness. You guys, I'm so genuinely like excited to introduce you to this brand because I think it is a problem solving brand. Like it is checking all the boxes for us because the sneakers feel of the sneakers, the shoes feel like sneakers. These shoes feel like sneakers. They have sneaker insoles, but on the outside, they look fancy and pretty and dressy. And I just think that's phenomenal. When you put them on, you will literally, they're like pillowy and bouncy and springy and so comfortable, but they're also so beautiful. So I usually feel like, we, you know, we, we feel like we have to sacrifice one for the other, like comfort for style, but you get both. Um, these are beautiful leather shoes. They have leather um, outsoles and leather uppers. And the insoles are antimicrobial, breathable, comfortable, cushioned sneaker technology in the shoe. Now they're called seven or nine because of the heel height, but they've got three centimeter, five centimeter, seven centimeter, nine centimeter um, heel heights. and. 
I really, really believe there's something for everyone. From dressy occasions to work shoes, they have they have a collection called the mattress flats because they're they're that comfortable. Um, they have shoes for weddings. Uh, they have work heels that are classic. They have shoes for brides and for formal events, um, vacation shoes. So they really like, there's a shoe for everybody. So even if, if maybe you're not looking for a dress shoe, I would absolutely encourage you to look at the selection there because there's, there's something for everybody. They have these air touch foam insoles that are, um, just like I said, out of this world, they feel like you're walking on pillows. Um, they have arch support. They have, um, you know, styles with wider toe boxes. They have bunion friendly styles. They have, they really do have something for everybody. The other thing that I think is really cool is they have these beautiful detachable accessories that allow you to take a pump, a classic pump from day to night with ease. And so if you're investing in a pump that's, that's a classic pump and you're planning on wearing it a lot when you're not necessarily going to a formal event or even a special event, then you can add one of these beautiful accessories. I think they have over a hundred of them um, that will transform your shoes into evening shoes. And, and they're just beautiful. So allow you to play with a pair of basic shoes as, as you desire. So get a simple pair of shoes. Um, they've got you know, a five centimeter series, a three centimeter series, a seven centimeter series. So you can choose your heel height. You can choose your style. You can choose your, um, the features that you're looking for and know that you're going to get really high quality all leather shoes with sneaker insoles. Like that is the coolest thing ever. It's the coolest thing ever. I am obsessed with them. So I want to talk about the three shoes that I think you need in a dressy wardrobe or your, your dress wardrobe. Okay, the first pair is a dark pair of neutral pumps. Now they can be velvet, um, although that's gonna be maybe a little bit more winter specific. They can be satin or they can be suede. Now suede is one of the few leathers that really transitions very, very well into evening wear because it has that more, um, it, it does kind of mimic the look of velvet. So you can wear suede for evening, whereas a regular leather, kid leather pair of, of black pumps, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, say that those are an evening pump, but suede you can totally do for evening. So these are my seven or nine suede shoes. They're the black tulip. I, 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 I love these so much. I love the gold trim on these. That definitely takes them more into evening, but I've worn these by day. I wore them to a birthday party during the day. I um, got so many compliments on the pumps. I love the detail on the back of these. I think they are so, so beautiful. Um, and then I've also worn them in the evening. And so these are really a beautiful and versatile pair of pumps. Now you can add an embellishment to take your black suede pumps and make them even more evening worthy if you're going to a formal event. And I love that, that they, they have that versatility. So the, a, a dark neutral pair of pumps in your dark neutral color is the first evening shoe that I think every woman needs. And you should have it in suede and velvet or in satin. Okay, the second pair of evening shoes that I think every woman could use is a pair of colored satin pumps. Now that color is gonna be up to you. I chose these, these are lower heel height, um, dark red satin pumps from seven or nine that I literally have wore for eight hours eight hours straight and did not even need to sit down. They are that comfortable. So I love these dark, it's a beautiful dark red satin and they're just very, very elegant. So I think a pair of satin pumps in a color that can go with a lot of your neutral evening pieces are, um, I think it's just going to be one of those transformative pieces that when you get it, you're going to be surprised how often you wear it. Now you don't have to reserve your satin pumps for evening. I wear mine during the day actually quite a bit. You've seen me wear my, I, you know, I had a, I have a pair of brighter red high heeled satin pumps. I've worn them a lot. But if you're if you're you've got more classic style and you want to reserve these for evening, I would say that that colored satin pump is just a game changer. OK, the third evening shoe that I think every woman needs is a neutral or metallic dress sandal for evening. Now, this might be for you the only piece, like it depends on, on your climate, your lifestyle, all of the things. But I think I would argue that this is possibly the most versatile, a neutral or metallic sandal. Obviously you're not gonna wear it when it's snowing out, but you can wear it pretty much year round. It will go with everything and it elevates and dresses up everything you wear. Now be careful with black shoes. Black shoes can often pull down an outfit. So if you're wearing a black outfit and you wanna wear wear black shoes, that's awesome. But if you're wearing a light colored outfit, then, then 
then you're going to want to go with a metallic or a light neutral instead. So those are the three options that are going to give you, and you've got three colors, right? Either a light neutral and a metallic, a color color, and a dark neutral that are gonna give you that versatility to play with your accessories in your evening outfits. Okay, now let's move on to earrings and jewelry. I'm saying earrings because I really think the easiest way to take an outfit to evening is to add a pair of statement earrings. Now you can do a statement necklace as well. You don't want to do both. Now what we want to avoid is the matched sets of jewelry for evening. Evening jewelry can be dicey. Evening jewelry can be dicey because it looks a lot of it looks like prom jewelry. You know what I'm talking about prom jewelry, right? Like a, a, a faux, you know, like crystal necklace with faux crystal earrings and then a bracelet or whatever, like everything matches and you've got that matched evening set. Or maybe it's got a faux gemstone on it and you've got the earrings and the, and the necklace and the bracelet. I would skip that and I would choose one or the other. Now, if you're going to do fun earrings, you can do a great bracelet. If you're going to do a fun necklace, you can do a great bracelet. But when you're looking at this zone here, you don't want too much going on there. So pick one or the other to make a statement. Some of my favorite brands for statement earrings are Danny Joe. Danny Joe has gorgeous, 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 a little bit over the top statement earrings. Um, a brand called Etika that's available at Nordstrom. I'm gonna pop up a, a couple of pictures for you guys. Um, beautiful, beautiful statement earrings. You're looking for your metal of choice and crystal for you know like a clear crystal like a diamond look for if you're just only going to get one pair of statement earrings because you want them to go with everything so one pair of, of fun statement earrings in gold or silver tone and the crystal is going to be your best bet so etika has these beautiful styles um nadri n-a-d-r-i they have beautiful earring styles bobble bar has some amazing styles marchesa marchesa i'm not sure about the pronunciation of that one um has gorgeous evening styles of earrings and just having that one statement earring that is going to um, pair beautifully with all your evening dresses. Uh, you only need one. Could you do more? Absolutely. I am obsessed with the Swarovski pair. That's huge. Not for everybody, but you want to go with that Whatever is a statement for you. Maybe a statement for you is this. Maybe it's this, right? So whatever that works for you, like that's what you want to go with for an evening um, earring. And again, you can do a necklace instead. So you, you, you know, we covered shoes. We covered jewelry. Now let's cover a bag. I think everybody just needs a, a one metallic bag in their evening wardrobe. I really like the Whiting and Davis mesh bags. I think they're so versatile. They never go out of style and a metallic will go with everything. So again, if you do all silver, get a silver bag. If you do gold, get a gold bag. You want it in your metal choice. You want it to be big enough to carry your phone and your necessities, but you want it to be a small clutch or a small evening bag. And like I said, I really recommend the Whiting and Davis bags, but you can find mesh evening bags at, at uh, thrift stores, at consignment stores, at vintage stores. They have been in style for a very long time and they're always in circulation. So if you can buy one at a price that is more budget friendly for you, absolutely go for it. You can also find like Nina has some clutches and uh, other brands do have um, versions of these mesh clutches, these metal clutches. And I think that they are the most versatile evening bag style. Okay, so we've covered the accessories. Now let's get into the clothes. You know I want to talk about the clothes that I think do not work as well. And I'm just gonna cover these quickly because I talk about this all the time. First is that three-piece evening set. Um, I mentioned this in a couple of other videos, but this has um, usually drapey pants, drapey shell, drapey jacket, usually in chiffon or lace or some kind of embellished material. Skip this, skip it, skip it, skip it. This is absolutely aging and matronly. Now there's a brand called uh, 133 Social um, that I have worn and loved. They, they have like a pair of sequin green pants and a sequin blazer also in green like that is a fabulous evening set and I'm going to talk about evening sets a little bit more later in this video but you want to skip the style. You also want to skip like really kind of dated and overly embellished evening dresses. Now this one is is just it's not awful it's just dated this halter style blue one with the embellishment all the way up there. That's just a dated evening silhouette. And then the third one you want to avoid is a dress with long lace or long mesh sleeves, um, especially in those light neutral or pastel colors. I've talked about these. Those are, those are really almost instantly aging. Now, if you're looking at a pair of mesh sleeves that are really simple and they're black or navy, that could, that could work. But in these light colors, these long lace or long mesh sleeves, I feel like are, are aging. Okay. Um, now brands to watch out for, I'm just going to 
put these out there for you um, that I, I, I would say approach with caution, Pizarro Knights, um, r and Richards, Escape, that said, um, I have an escape dress that's amazing, but you know, you're, you're gonna see a lot of these styles that I'm cautioning you against in these brands, okay? So now we talked about shoes and bags and jewelry. Now let's talk about what you need to have in an evening wardrobe over 50. Um, now, there are some designers that I, I love and can, can heartily recommend. Um, is every single thing from every one of these designers gonna be perfect for you? No, but these are brands that you can generally shop really safely and get stylish and beautiful options for evening. So those brands include Mac Dougal, um, and this is actually in, well, no, it's not really an order of price, um, but you're, you're gonna find a variety of price ranges here. Generally, evening wear is gonna be on the higher end of the price range, but I've, I've given you a variety here. Um, Mac Dougal, Tadashi Shoji, Dress the Population, Badgley Mishka, and Kiara Boney. So those are five brands to consider um, that have really, really nice cocktail and evening options. So let me get into what I think you need as, as in terms of clothes for your evening wardrobe. You want to have a go-to cocktail dress and a go-to long dress. Now, you're you want to do this dress in your best dark neutral and you want it to be simple but not boring. So how do you get a dress that's simple but not boring? You you special but not memorable. You want to look for a silhouette and details that are solid and neutral but also a shape that is interesting. So you get that combination of it being a really beautiful, really sharp, really stylish, really special event worthy dress. So again, the special element, but it's dark and neutral and generally solid. So it's a little bit less memorable. So we're trying to find that sweet spot because you want this ideally to be a dress that you can wear again and again. So you're looking for a long one and you're looking for a cocktail length dress that you can wear again and again. You want it in your dark neutral and you want it to be special, but not memorable. I'm give you some examples of these um another uh, uh, another way to wear depending on the on the um, coverage of your cocktail dress it could also serve as a funeral dress much less of a fun event to go to obviously but i had to put that out there because a funeral dress is a really important thing to have so whether this is a black for you or navy or chocolate um you want it in that dark neutral so cocktail dress and evening dress now let me share some cocktail dresses and evening dresses that i do recommend now um let me start with um Tadashi Shoji. Okay, so this one is their knotted one shoulder crepe gown. I think this is a beautiful gown. This is definitely for someone who's comfortable with their arms. It's a one shoulder style, but it's a very, very elegant evening gown. Very, very elegant evening gown. And that is appropriate, you know, whatever age you're at. Um, now, if you want a dress that's super elegant and stylish and beautiful and covers your arms, that you can dress up for cocktails or dress down for, or not dress down, but dress up for cocktails or also wear to a funeral, wear to other events, this Tadashi Shoji Peak Label Crepe Satin Coat Dress. Elegant, timeless, stunning. And all you have to do is you add your seven or nine shoes and a color or maybe a strappy sandal and um, a beautiful pair of sparkly earrings. You're ready for evening for a cocktail party. Um, and then if you're going to a funeral, you would do a, you know, a dark neutral pump and keep the accessories subtle, right? Love that dress. Um, this is from Dress the Population. This is the Leighton Peacock Mermaid Gown. So this is a long, simple, gown this is in a in a blue color so that's going to be your your neutral of choice um, but it is sleeveless what would you do if you want to cover your arms with a gown like this i would recommend doing a cropped and i will i will share a couple up here a cropped jacket or blazer it can be in satin it can be in sequined it can be um in a knit depending on the formality level that you're going for like kind of like a chanel waist length jacket or a cropped moto jacket in some kind of shiny material and um or a, a cropped sequin type of jacket so or you're going to want to go with one with sleeves if you're like i don't want to deal with the jacket i can't find a jacket that goes with the dress okay then then we would you know i would i would recommend one with sleeves. So speaking of a dress with sleeves, this is the Chiara Boney um, La Petite Robe 
Nevea sequin fringe sheath dress. Now this is a beautiful, elevated, memorable cocktail dress. It's got a sequin fringe detail at the bottom if that's something that you love. It's got long sleeves, it's got a scoop neck. And um, so this isn't for everybody. It's a little bit more body conscious, but it is ruched and I will tell you her dresses are ridiculously flattering, comfortable and flattering because they're all in these beautiful knits. So I really, really like this Caraboni dress. Another Caraboni dress, this one is actually strong so that's going to work for some of you and not for others. Um, this is the Terenzia Crystal Embellished Peplum Dress. This is great at kind of covering a little bit of a belly area, but if you're comfortable with your arms and not with your tummy, this might be an option for you. And it's a beautiful, elegant dress that I think works for a variety of, of body types. Okay, um, this dress from Adriana Papel, this looks to me like a Grace Kelly or a 1950s style cocktail dress that is simple and timeless and elegant and effortless. Now this is only, it's from Adriana Papel and it's only like $159, which is a great price for a formal dress like this and it will probably go on sale. I believe it comes in navy and black. It is sleeveless, um, so you're going to want to consider having an evening jacket. And I will have some linked for you in the um, blog post and in the description box because so if, if you do have cocktail dresses that you're hesitating to wear because they're sleeveless or they're strapless, then consider an evening jacket. Okay, another dress. Now this is um, from Badgley Mishka collection. This is their scoop neck fishtail midi dress. So a little bit of a longer length and it's got a sleeve that hits like in the middle of your upper arm. And so that's gonna cover your arms, the upper arm area. It's going to cover your knees if you don't love your legs. And it's just a beautiful classic dress. Again, it's special, but it's not memorable. So you can wear it again and again. Okay, let's look at a couple of gowns here. This one is from... I think this is from Bachelor Mishka. This is the Rippy, oh no, this is Caraboni, the Rippy Asymmetrical Three Quarter Sleeve Illusion Gown. Now, they're calling it an illusion because it's got a mesh sleeve, which I warned you about. But when you do a mesh sleeve that's neutral, and it doesn't have a lot of other stuff going on like this, it works. This gown has ruching and draping and gathering and every flattery detail built in, and it covers your arms. So this is a gown, it's an investment gown, it's over a thousand dollars, but if you do go to special events and you want a gown that you can pull out for every special event and no one's gonna be like, oh, didn't you just wear that? But at the same time, but you look fabulous. This is, this is a, an amazing option. Um, now this Badgley Mishka collection strapless pleated A-line peplum gown. This is a beautiful, this is kind of like a variation on that cocktail dress, but it's got the peplum, it's strapless, and it's a gown. So again, that depends on your comfort level with your shoulders and your arms. But if you like that, that's going to be really, really flattering and very um, classic. Okay, moving on, because I have several to cover here. Um, this is from MacDougall. This is the sequined long sleeve high neck open back gown. It is lo it is low in the back, so keep that in mind. Um, I do really like the busties bust support tape. They work for fuller busts and they work really well. If, you, if you're willing to show a little bit of your back but not your arms, this could be a great option. It's beautiful, it's sequin, it's dramatic, it's very, very elegant, but it's also um, works for a variety of ages. I also like from MacDougall this lace embellished long sleeve ruffle hem dress. So this is a little bit of a different cocktail dress. It's a lace cocktail dress, it's a midi length, um, and it's just a beautiful, elegant cocktail dress that covers your arms, covers your knees, can can really check the boxes for a lot of you. I um, also love this one. This is, I think it's called the Millie um, Fitted Bodice Dress from Dress the Population. It's a very pretty, very simple cocktail dress. It does have thin straps, so you're going to, going to want to decide. Again, some of you are going to need to cover your arms. Some of you don't feel like you need to cover your arms. Um, so there's an option here for everybody, hopefully. Okay, now that we've talked about some dresses, let me make sure I covered all the dresses. I think I covered all the dresses and there are many more in my catalog. I do have a how to dress up over 40 catalog that is going to be linked below this video. I would also encourage you to follow me on Like to Know It. It's Like to Know It. Um, it's Net a Manly Style on Like to Know It and I will post the link in the description box because I will share links to all of these dresses in my Like to Know It and give you more ideas as I find them. Because I'm always finding things. Right after I'm done filming a video, I find more things to show you. Oh, speaking of more things to show you, let me mention the Maggie London Illusion cocktail dress. This is a great cocktail dress for... 
Again, it does it does show arms, but it's a great cocktail dress for almost every body type. Now, it comes in two silhouettes now. It comes in the sheath style, which they've had for years. It's a perennial. It comes back year after year. It's in black and navy. And then it also comes in a fit and flare style. So those of you who maybe have more shape in the lower half of your body, my body type orange or green, ladies, th this is going to be a great option for you. Okay, now let's talk about, we've talked about accessories. We talked about having a go-to cocktail dress and a go-to evening gown in your best dark neutral. Now let's talk about building a dress up cluster. You're never going to get more versatility from anything than you are from a cluster. So six pieces that yield multiple outfit combinations, especially when you factor in the completer pieces and the jackets and the, sh I mean, the, the, the shoes and the earrings and the bags. Like you can really transform these pieces by the way that you accessorize them. So let's look at what a, a cluster for evening can look like. Now I'm gonna use black as an example of the dark neutral, but yours can be navy or chocolate. But for your cluster, you're going to want two bottoms, right? Because a cluster, the, the breakdown of a cluster is two bottoms, three tops, and a completer piece. So for the two bottoms, you want a black pair of pants and a black skirt. I really like, a, a, it can either be a full length, full skirt or a knee length or midi length full skirt. So like a kind of a, a, a full 50s inspired black taffeta or black silk skirt can be a beautiful option. You can either do a black silk or you can do black lace, but I think that's a great option. And then you want a pair of black pants. Now the pants can be a crepe pair of dress pants that you can wear by day or night. Um, or, can, or they can even be something a little bit funkier like velvet or sequin, but you want them to go with the tops that you're going to choose. So you, you want to decide what's going to be interesting, either your tops or your bottoms or your jacket. You can't have all three because then they won't go together. So you want a pair of black pants, a black skirt. You want three blouses for evening, different levels of dressiness, maybe different textures, maybe different colors. And then you want um, a metallic or sequin or maybe satin jacket, um, like a tux kind of style jacket would be beautiful. So those are, those are the six pieces in your cluster. Two bottoms, a skirt and pants, three tops that are different, and then an evening jacket. Now, you could also try an evening suit or tuxedo, like an evening tuxedo or an evening suit, like an elevated one, a modern one, like the ones I'm gonna show you here, and then you can have that pants and the jacket to go as part of the cluster, and they'll, they work as separates as well as together. Okay, so Chiara Boni has these beautiful, um, they call them the carry pants in black. This is a great pant that's versatile that you can dress up or dress down a little bit. Um, and I think that's a, a beautiful option for an evening pant. I love, love, love this evening skirt from Maj. It's a black lace evening skirt. I think it's gorgeous. This is a great inspiration look here. It's a three, this was on Neiman, Mar no, Bloomingdale's. Um, it's a theory top, like a knit top tucked into a beautiful lace skirt and then worn with beautiful evening accessories. Again, this is what I'm encouraging you to create, a cluster for evening that will help you get to all the places you want to go to looking stunning. Um, Okay, now let's look at, I, I absolutely love this Bowden pull-on taffeta skirt. Now we're talking about the bottoms here. It's a pull-on taffeta skirt. It's like $79, so very affordable, but you can wear this with any of your tops and kind of turn it into a cocktail look. Like you can wear this with a cami or one of your silk blouses or any pretty blouse that you have and you pair it with this pull-on taffeta style skirt and a pair of evening worthy shoes and a fun sparkly pair of earrings and you have a cocktail look. Every time you pull, every time you get a cocktail invitation, you can pull out this skirt. It's beautiful and special without being memorable. And I love it. I have a friend who used to have one. Um, it was, we were in our, early to mid thirties at the time, she used to have a tall one that was tiered and she would pull it out for every special event and it always looked so special and so elegant. And I remember she told me like, I have never worn anything as much as I've worn this black full skirt. So I would definitely recommend that. Now let's look at three tops. What can you consider for the three tops? So one shiny top would be a great option. This is the Colette shirt in hologram sequin from Revolve. It's a beautiful like dressy, I think it's a popover. I don't think it's a full button down or maybe it is a full button down, but it's a sequin shirt. Like you pair that with your black pants or you pair that with your black skirt and you've got an evening outfit. Like that's, that brings the party. The skirt is the party or the shirt, sorry, is the party. I also really love this Valencia lace shirt in white. Um, beautiful lace blouse. So, you know, maybe you do sparkle, maybe you do lace, and then maybe you do pattern. Whatever, you know, you, you just want them to look different so you've got that variety. I think this is beautiful. It's also from Revolve. Um, this theor theory, sorry, Lily Silk wrap 
blouse. It's a sleeveless wrap blouse. This would be beautiful with, with a pair of black um, pants and a gorgeous metallic clutch and those amazing statement earrings for a night out. Like that's a beautiful, beautiful blouse that's easy um, to dress up any any of your pieces. Now, if you're going to wear it with a full skirt, I would um, I would tuck that lower half into the skirt so that the skirt hits at your waist. But I think that's beautiful. Um, I also like this Elan metallic crossover top. This is a lame top. Lame is a very easy way to get that sparkly look without the sequins that stick to my hair. And this is an affordable top. It's on sale now. I think I'm Bloomingdale's for seventy dollars. Um, but this is a great piece to have. Again, you pair this with. I mean, you can even wear this for je with jeans for casual drinks out with friends. Um, you can wear it with your black evening pants. You can wear it with your black evening skirt, and you've got a, like a full, full look, full on outfit. Okay, now let's talk about the jacket, the blazer. That's going to be the hardest piece for us to find. And it's definitely going to be the hardest piece for us to find affordably. I would, I would not discount places like New York and Company and Express. Um, they're going to have some fun statement blazer options or jacket options that could work as part of an evening cluster. But I found a couple that are beautiful for you. Um, different price points. These are all kind of pricier, but I will have lots of, of um, inexpensive options below. I will tell you ASOS is going to be a great source for some of the more inexpensive options as well. These are from Revolve. I just have to show this because it is the prettiest thing I think I've ever seen. The Seika set embellished Cheyenne blazer in black. Ah! So you would build your cluster around this blazer because it is a statement blazer. It is fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. It's just a beautiful evening blazer. You want to cover your arms and look amazing? This with a pair of black crepe pants and a sleeveless shell, you're all set. You're all set. Like you don't need anything else. Great pair of earrings. That's it. Um, shoes, bag, you know what I mean. Um, okay. Also, this All Saints Sophia satin blazer in black. That's a beautiful, like more uh, versatile, less memorable satin blazer that you can pair with all of your evening pieces. The favorite daughter satin blazer in navy. So here's an option in navy for those of you who don't wear black. It sometimes can be hard to find these pieces in navy. So this is a great navy option. Um, there's one here from Anine Bing. So a satin, velvet, or a sequin blazer, depending on the on the tops and bottoms that you have, can be that that sixth piece that just rounds out that evening cluster and just makes it look fabulous, fabulous. And really, really gives you those beautiful um, outfit combinations and options for all of your special evening events. So I hope that this was helpful. We really want to celebrate where we're at in life. We want to celebrate glamour and knowing ourselves and feeling more comfortable in our own skin. And yes, certain things get more challenging as we get older, but they all some things also get easier. Like we know ourselves better. We know our style better. And so I would encourage you to uh, build a beautiful wardrobe for special events and then accept every invitation that comes your way. Every invitation that comes your way. Life is short. Go to the parties. Go to the graduations. Go to the weddings. Celebrate with the people that you love. Look and feel your best doing it. Find pieces that support you and your body where it's at and just get out there and live and love life. So that's my encouragement to you. I hope that you found this helpful. Thank you to 7 or 9 for working with me on today's video. Again, you really have to check them out. I will pop up my link all over this video so that you guys can see it. Um, like pumps that feel like sneakers. Pumps that feel like sneakers. They're amazing. I love them. So thank you for partnering with me on today's video. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, if you have any comments, comment below. Let me know if there's something specific you're looking for, something I missed, something you want me to help you find. I'm here for you. And we also cover all of that stuff in the Facebook group. So hop on in there and ask me any questions you have. I am happy to help you find what you're looking for. And um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next one.